What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Earlier this morning, I received an email from Kelly O. I also received a message from my friend, Rockstar Preacher, inquiring about this anomaly over here at VentusSky.com. This is the email I got from Kelly O. this morning at 9.42 a.m. asking, is the dark red object an anomaly or a freak wave of 85 feet coming from the Antarctic Ocean? It's traveling up through the Atlantic in the coming days. So I, I got to looking myself over here at VentusSky.com. I've used VentusSky for many, many years, and it's normally a very reliable source of information. And here's what I found. I went to the feature under waves, significant wave height. Sure enough, there it is. The Southern Hemisphere on April 9th, the day after the eclipse of 2024, around 2 p.m. And here we go. I'm stepping forward three hours at a time. There it is. Shows up in the Southern Atlantic Ocean, implying that there is a very large field of waves measuring 83.7 feet. And I couldn't help but notice the interesting shape of whatever is going on down here. More strange energy showing up in various places around the world. So I'm going to step forward another three hours. It gets bigger. And it gets bigger. We're going to step forward another three hours. 11 p.m. on April 9th. It's even bigger. We're going to step forward again. Now we're into the 10th. And it is 2 a.m. Much bigger. Uniformly moving to the north. Three hours again. Still moving to the north off the southwest coast of Africa. Out in the Atlantic Ocean. Now it's even bigger. You can tell it's longer and wider. Stepping forward again. Another three hours. 11 a.m. 2 p.m. 5 p.m. on the 10th. 8 p.m. on the 10th. 11 p.m. on the 10th. And you can see now it's much bigger. Showing a wider field. In fact, we're going to measure this area. And get an approximate size of what's going on here. But this is at 11 p.m. on the 10th. Now we're stepping forward yet again, 3 hours, 2 a.m. on the 11th, and going from 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. disappears off the map. I think what we're dealing with here is a USO, not necessarily a rogue wave, but some sort of a large rogue object that was sending signals as if there was an 80-foot-plus wave out here, but all along it possibly could have been some sort of a large underwater craft creating these wave anomalies. Now we're going to go over to Zoom.Earth. This is the area right here where the anomaly showed up on Ventusky.com. We're going to, to measure the approximate size of this thing. It goes from right there off the coast of Angola, well past the southern tip of Africa. Here we go. Off the coast of Angola, down past southern Africa, and we'll stop right there. Approximately 2,000 miles long, and that could be conservative. And looking at the possible width, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,500 miles wide, and that would be the approximate size of this energy field or disturbance that's being detected, not necessarily a possible USO that, that could have been traveling underwater. And look what else I found down in the southern hemisphere. There's one buoy down here in the southern hemisphere that's in event mode. It's not off the coast of Africa, but if you look over here off the coast of Africa, there are no buoys in this area where where the anomalies at. There's none. There's some that are close, but none where that anomaly showed up right in here. Looking at earthquakes, there have been no large earthquakes down here in South America. Coming back to the National Data Buoy Center, where the buoy is in event mode, implying a tsunami or some sort of energy disturbance in deep South America. Look at what it shows. A vertical movement of nearly 2,000 meters. That would be 6,000 feet right off the, the coast of South America. So what if, just what if, something moved over here, creating a disturbance, not necessarily an earthquake. This thing traveled down here between South America and Antarctica, and then up through the, the Atlantic Ocean, showing up over here on VentusSky.com as a persistent 36-hour, 80-plus foot wave anomaly, like Kelly noticed this morning around 9.40 a.m. If it indeed were some sort of a very large underwater craft, came out, moved around this way, showed up over here on VentusSky.com as a huge road wave system moving through the Atlantic Ocean. It's just a possibility, guys. I'm trying to, to think outside the box. Here's what it looks like. I, I recorded the anomaly, then I zoomed in on it. You can see where it starts, right down here, deep in the southern hemisphere, showing 83.7 foot tall waves, persistent waves, and then this thing gets larger and larger, as if something were moving in that area. Could have been something underwater moving, creating what looked like large waves on the surface. That's what this instrument was detecting, was large waves. Or could it have been a giant USO that was showing up as 80 plus foot waves for 36 hours. Could have been something underwater. I don't know, guys. I'm trying to make sense of this myself. This is highly unusual. Once again, I've used Venti Sky for many, many years, and it's normally a very accurate source of information. Okay, guys, so this is repent. This is um Mr. MBB33. This is his channel. He gave a report on this. I'm gonna go ahead and fill you in on what that's the scientific report of it, and I'm gonna go ahead and fill you in on the biblical matter of it. Um check this out, man. You guys, this is down here near the dragon. And I've been warning you guys that the dragon is real and the dragon has been prophesied about in the book of Revelations and the sign of violent change with the with the comet passing by during the during the um, eclipse. It's supposed to it's supposed to be a sign of violent change for all nations. All right, or a violent change for the nation of uh, well, I guess all nations actually, because it should be visible to all nations. So on the earth. All right, so check this out. When it comes to the violent change on the earth, if anything's gonna be scared of getting hit by a dang comet, it's gonna be the dang dragon. All right. So the dragon is probably gonna be over here thrashing and thrusting around trying to get out the way. Um, so where we saw the where we saw the um, the anomaly of the wave height crack up at came from the crack of the dragon seat, the, uh, the mouth of the dragon right here. This is the dragon's mouth, and he has a crack that comes out of it that goes under the ground. All right, this crack is where he's releasing uh, fumes 
lava, steam, heat, nuclear power, whoever, whatever you want to call it, uh, plasma, I don't know, some type of energy. Feverant heat, okay? Extremely violent heat. Um, probably burst open a crack over here. Something, something burst open right here, all right? Something underwater either burst open, all right? Now that, that's, that's the most logical explanation. Now, the opposite explanation of this, the opposite, meaning, so this is coming from below the water, and that caused this, all right? It would be coming from below the water, and it caused this, all right? See, this is the dragon. See, the, this is the current. The current moves around his face, so you can see his face, all right? Now, see how he breathes the current out of his mouth right here? That would be where that crack is at. And see where that energy showed up at? Comes right up out of that crack, all right? And comes right up the Atlantic Ocean. This is that. This is that energy, right? I went and did my own research on windy.com. All right, this is what that is, windy. All right. So then, this is the dragon. He's breathing it out. And somewhere along the line, you see over here, this crack on the on the Earth could possibly be a corner or some some type of some type of bowl reaction. I don't know. Some type of wall reaction happening to where it's inter encountering a force, which is forcing it upward. All right. So this area right here is, is some type of wall or underwater or some type of something either broke or some type of wall is here, forcing it up and northward, all right? But we do know that heat rises so and, and cold uh, sinks. So the cold currents are down here to the south of the crack and that hot current is repelling away from the cold going north at 87 uh, wave height. So I'm gonna issue a warning to Alaska, uh, off the coast of Alaska for uh, serious mag uh, seismic activity, all right? So be ready guys. All right, be ready guys. I'm issuing, issuing a warning off of the coast of Alaska because where that anomaly came from, it should be up north, north towards Alaska. Let me see, let me measure. It'll be about right here. Uh, all the way across the other side of the world would be off the coast of Alaska. When it starts to spin, see right here? Kamchatka Peninsula, right there. So I'm issuing a warning for you guys over here. This is the antipode of the matter. Whatever happened on the opposite side of the world, this is the, the front of the dragon's face, the front of the dragon's mouth. And this is right where that, uh, I'm gonna add that and I'm gonna done that right there like that. All right, so this right here, this spot on the earth, so where that dragon is breathing, the dragon's mouth is like right here. His mouth is somewhere right here, all right? His head and his neck, his head and his, his, his yeah, his, his head is like somewhere right here, his mouth is like right here. And when he's breathing out, I guess he's either breathing out this way, maybe or something like that, or breathing out this way, straight this way, or that way. But the crack that comes out of his mouth, it could be this, and then it breaks that way, I don't know. But um, so definitely that energy is heading towards Hawaii, straight, straight towards Hawaii. All right, so that the heat wave on the other side of the world, actually no, it's not heading towards Hawaii. I forgot Hawaii is Africa, uh, in the middle of Africa. So yeah, that's heading up the coast of this way. So everything on the on the coast, the west coast of North America and uh, South America, Central America, you guys uh, highly recommend you guys be on high alert, very very high alert for the next seven days to fourteen days, in two weeks. Be on high alert, guys. Serious. All right. Um, I wouldn't normally do this when I see anomalies, but after the, the eclipse plus the comet in the sky, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say, yeah, we should be on caution, high caution. It's time for high caution. Okay, so now I see that crack, I found it. All right, so the crack that comes out that dragon's mouth is right here. This is the crack right here, down. And that's the split. Remember it splits and it goes one direction, it goes another, takes off in another direction. Yep, so we go on the other side of the world. There you go, the crack comes out of his mouth and then it splits. See how it splits and takes off in another direction? See that right there? Just like that, all right? And Alaska would be on this side of it, on the southern side of it, all right? So it's pushing away from Alaska. That means there's a force on the opposite side of that push off. So that means towards Alaska. Uh, it's pushing back towards Alaska or coming from Alaska. Some type of vibration is coming out from the other direction underneath the plate from Alaska, North America. So you guys be on high alert, all right, guys? Uh, look into it more, do your own research. Don't take my word for it. I'm just saying what I've been studying, studying over the past decade, that this is real, all right? That is a dragon. That is the Leviathan in the Book of Revelations right there. And this is high time for him to be waking up, all right, and coming after, sending floods after the uh, the children of the, of the seed of the woman. All right. Uh, you guys, check up on my channel, Repent as Doves. That's a Repent as Doves with a dollar sign on TikTok and YouTube. And I will check with you guys, update with you guys very soon. And make sure that you guys are not left out on, you know, my prayers. All right. Amen.